What is up, Credits? In this video, we we'll talking about this week's Double Money Event Week, as well as the property and vehicle discounts. This event week is for September 3rd through September 9th, 2020. The current casino podium vehicle is the Meibatsu Penumbra FF. This sports car is primarily based on the Mitsubishi Eclipse GSX and released about three weeks ago with the summer DLC update. This car normally costs about $1.4 million, which is pretty insane. That's literally supercar pricing for what's essentially a Mitsubishi Eclipse. Now, performance-wise, this car is not that great as you might expect in comparison to the top sports cars. I will say, however, that the customization is very good, and the car itself is a lot of fun to drive. So for those of you who maybe paid full price for the Penumbra FF and are angry about it being on the podium, you can still take the one you originally purchased and sell it for about $1 million. Again, to avoid confusion, please note that what you get for the vehicle depends on what you paid for it. The podium car will not sell for any money. I'm specifically referring to the Penumbra FF that people paid full price for. So is the Penumbra FF worth attempting to win by spinning the lucky wheel over and over this week? I'm going to say 100% yes. While it's not the fastest sports car, it's normally way overpriced in my opinion, and getting it for free is awesome. So starting off with the property discounts, we have 30% off the casino penthouse and the renovations for it as well. The penthouse really isn't that useful to own in my opinion. But if you want one, I highly suggest being conservative with the upgrades as they are pricey. Moving on to vehicle discounts, we have 30% off the Furia. This supercar is pretty poor performance wise in comparison to the top supercars. I don't recommend buying it unless you like the look of it. Next up, we have 30% off the Itali GTO. This sports car is the best for sports class stunt races and one of the best for most standard races as well. I highly recommend purchasing a GTO if you don't have one already. This is a very good price and a very good car. Next up, we have 50% off the Swinger. This sports class's car is not very good performance wise as it has a slow handling flags, which really impacts its driving experience and all around performance. Moving along, we have 30% off the Entity XXR. This supercar is very good looking with decent customization. But unfortunately, it has those slow handling flags and is extremely slow on normal roads. Next up, we have most of the same Sports Classics discounts from the past two weeks, which is 50% off the 190Z. This Sports Classics car has very good customization and is a ton of fun to drive. However, it's not close at all to the top cars in the class. Next up, we have 50% off the Viserys. This Sports Classics car has decent top speed, but unfortunately doesn't perform that well in comparison to the top cars in the class. Moving along, we have 50% off the Silvestra. This Sports Classics car is decent, but again, doesn't really perform that well in comparison to the top cars in the class. However, it does have good customization and is a lot of fun to drive. Moving along, we have 50% off the Rapid GT Classic. Now, this Sports Classics car is actually pretty competitive performance-wise. However, it is pretty difficult to drive. Next up, we have 50% off the Torero. Now, this Sports Classics car looks like it's very competitive in the class, but unfortunately, it's not. It's not that great performance-wise. The Turismo Classic and Cheetah Classic just destroy it. Next up, we have 50% off the Infernus Classic. Same situation with that car. Not that great in comparison to those two. Next up, we have 50% off the Mamba. This Sports Classics car is a ton of fun to drive but it doesn't handle very well, and again, doesn't perform too well in comparison to the top cars in the class. Next up, we have 50% off the Sterling GT. I personally love the way the sports class's car looks, sounds, drives, and the handling is just absolutely incredible. But unfortunately, it just lacks the top speed to be able to keep up with the top cars. And lastly, for the Legendary Motorsport website, we have 50% off the Z-Type. The Z-Type currently still has the highest top speed out of all the Sports Classics cars in the class and is worth purchasing for long highway races. So it's definitely one of those cars that's worth having if you come across a Sports Classics race that has mainly top speed sections. Moving on to the 7 San Andreas website, we have 40% off the Armored Karuma. This sports car is a must own for missions in GTA as it has the bulletproof windows that enemies can't shoot you through. However, you can shoot back at them, which is awesome. Now, there have been certain special ammos added to the game which can penetrate the Armored Karuma's windows, so it's not the best idea for free mode anymore, but definitely a very good choice for certain missions. Moving on to the Warstock website, we have 40% off the Thruster. 
This jetpack is pretty decent, but it really isn't the best as the Oppressor Mark II can do almost everything this can, but better. I will say however that the thruster is fun to troll Oppressor Mark IIs as you can fly fast in a straight line and their homing missiles cannot kill you, which is pretty funny, they just kind of explode behind you. Keep in mind that you need to own a facility in order to purchase this jetpack. Next up we have 30% off the Kinjali. This is arguably the best tank in the game and is normally way overpriced, but the discounted trade price is actually a pretty good deal in my opinion. Keep in mind you need to own a facility in order to purchase this tank. And that's it for the vehicle discounts. I'm not sure why they repeated most of the Legendary Motorcycle website Sports Classics card discounts from the last two weeks again. I find that very strange. I don't think we have ever had more than five specific discounts from website repeat three weeks in a row. That's a little strange. Moving on to the double money stuff, we have double money NRP on the mission last play. I don't think I've ever played this mission to be honest, but it definitely looks interesting. Next up we have double money NRP on the adversary modes bunker, diamond, and missile base. These are pretty fun, but the payouts are not that great. And lastly, the best for last, we have double money NRP for CEO crates. This was decided by Rockstar based on the community if they did more CEO VIP work or MC work and CEO was the highest played last week. So we have double money NRP on these selling crate missions which can make you guys millions of dollars. For those of you who store hundreds of crates in advance, now's the time to make a ton of money this week. Moving on to the Prime Gaming discounts for Prime Gaming members only. I'll leave instructions in the pinned comment how to become a Prime Gaming member if you aren't one already. So we have the same one from last week which is 75% off the Avenger and the vehicle slash weapon workshop upgrades for it. Keep in mind they need to own a facility in order to purchase the Avenger. And there's no others for Twitch Prime which is not too great unfortunately, again these are repeated from last week. Again guys if you don't see a discount on the Avenger it's because you don't have your Prime Gaming account linked to your social club. Again, all the information on how to do it is down below in the pinned comment. And lastly, we have, of course, the RC Medito time trial, Davis Courts. This week's normal time trial is Lake Vinewood Estates. I highly recommend a fast motorcycle such as the Hakuchu Drag, Shotaro, or a Batty 801 for this time trial. Or a fast car such as the Emerus or Krieger. And this week's premium race is a supercar race congestion charge. I highly recommend either the Tavest 8, Emerus, or or the Krieger for this race. This race is mainly top speed based and sort of a game of slipstream. So make sure you are constantly slipstreaming or you will get left behind by the top cars slipstreaming each other. Every Friday I post a guide on how to easily beat the time trials on premium race. So stay tuned for that if you're new. Anyways guys, hope this was helpful. This event week is pretty decent in terms of discounts and awesome in terms of bonus money with the CEO crates that pay out millions of dollars. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.